What's new crew? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Cassandra and today I'm bringing you guys through a huge tour of everywhere I store food. My working pantry here, my kitchen, and we're also going downstairs and I'm showing you guys my chest freezers and my long-term storage shelf. Basically, you guys get to keep, take a peek on what I keep down there, what I freeze, how I freeze things, or basically just kind of how we store all of it. Those are probably the most questions that I get. So I'm just gonna bring you guys along, show you guys everything, also give you guys some tips and different things like that as we move along through the video. Strap in because I think it's gonna be a long one. I'm gonna say that we are going to start downstairs. I'm gonna show you guys my long-term storage. Then we're gonna move into my chest freezers. Then we're gonna come upstairs and I'll show you guys my fridge, my freezer up in my kitchen. And we're gonna close out with the pantry. We do live in farm country and mice is something that we deal with usually um, in the fall and in the winter. So we can just put the tops on these and it's just like an extra layer of protection for things. But I have two down here. I like to keep them pretty full. They're full of things like extra sugar. My husband was doing keto for a while. So we had um, like extra things of different kinds of like fake sugar basically. <laughs> um, I always keep gluten-free flour down here because we do have family members that are gluten-free so I keep some gluten-free options in here for when I host holiday meals or um, get togethers gathering things like that like same with this live G free thing um, I keep a couple of these down here same purpose but we've got pasta things of pancake mix that I bought when they were on sale uh, taco shells Christmas pasta that I bought from Aldi after Christmas time and they were like I don't even remember they were like 10 cents a bag or something crazy so I bought a couple of those a ton of baking supplies we bake most of our own snacks uh, so we go through a lot of uh, chocolate chips for things obviously like cookies or candies cakes like anything like that we bake ourselves so we always keep these on hand uh, in the other box so we have more like gluten-free um, flour options. We've got some coconut flour, different things of noodles. Uh, we do try to keep like graham crackers and uh, just crackers in general on hand for like when you have the flu or you're sick. Always nice to have these on hand because then once you're sick, no one's going to the store to get them. So we've learned to just keep these on hand. Lots of nuts for baking. We love to put them in cookies and um, like zucchini breads and banana bread specifically we love walnuts for I buy things when they go on sale after the holidays so a couple things of just like stuffing mix more baking supplies here powdered sugar melting chocolates uh, another thing of stuffing a big thing of croutons because we just went to what is that called Sam's Club and I got a big thing of croutons because we have a ton of salad in the garden a bunch of lettuce and kale and different things and i love having croutons for my salad we do try to keep some fun snacks down here as well so we got some cheddar cheese uh snacks here or like little rice cakes but like i said we do make most of them um ourselves but it's nice to have some store-bought options this is grass soup because this is what we like when we have the flu so we always keep a lot of these on hand especially heading into flu season i actually have this on my grocery list for next month to get a couple more boxes of these just to make sure we have enough because when you have a family of five and all five of you get the flu at once it's like you can go through so many things of soup so quickly so lots and lots of things there these are actually a lot emptier than what i would like i am working on refilling these back up but i also don't like to have like so much at once uh, because then I feel like it can be wasted or it gets easily overlooked or it sits down here a little bit too long things like that So this is what I find I like to have and then down here. We have lots of flour um, I don't even know how many things of flour is down here I think I have like 50 pounds of flour and around 40 pounds of sugar here. I know I'm not supposed to have these on the floor I did order big bins for these they are just not here yet and then in the back I have a couple boxes of ramen, same thing. My kids love these for snacks. It's summertime right now, or not for snacks, for lunches. Um, they love to have these, so we go through a lot of these in the summer. And then uh, in a couple days when I go grocery shopping, I'm gonna get beef, so we'll have both chicken and beef. And these are another good thing to have if you're sick or you have the flu or something. And then there's things of canning jars underneath here that we always keep on hand. Lots of canning jars down here. This is the bulk area. This is where a lot of things are be coming in here really soon. 
we are just hitting we're just hitting the season where the garden is going to start producing and soon this is just going to be full of canned goods but i wasn't able to can a lot last year it was a really terrible garden season for us so i i basically had to rely a lot on store-bought food which is okay it's just not what i like this is one of those things i bought on sale after the holidays a couple things of pumpkin uh in a can i guess like pumpkin puree we've used this to make pancakes muffins breads all sorts of things the kids really like it i don't like pumpkin but the kids do so i think i bought a couple things of these and we're just down to two same thing with this cherry pie filling that's back here i'm pretty sure i bought this one after christmas time it was super cheap i think it was 50 cents for this can and I thought, you know what, we will find something to use this cherry pie filling in. So I got those. Two things of cherries because this is what we use in our holiday ham. Along with a couple other things. But just wanted to have those on hand. So I've learned to just keep these on the shelf. And then we have a thing of Dr. Pepper beans. I got these from Aldi, I think, one time when my husband came with me. And he said these were not good. So he bought a couple cans of these too. But this is the last one we have left. Uh, a couple different things of baked beans here. My son and my husband love baked beans. Uh, me and my daughters, not so much. But we've got honey sweet and then uh, black sugar hickory. So just to like mix it up, having different options, varieties. I always keep this chili no beans from Aldi down here. Love having this on hand, uh, specifically for like hot dogs and stuff, or even chili cheese fries. Lots and lots of pizza sauce. I only have four here. We went through the rest of them this month. I'm basically just trying to stock up slowly, buying an extra two or three at a time. So right now we have four, which is not a bad start. This is probably about a month's worth for us, in all honesty. So slowly but surely working on adding things to the shelf. Nacho cheese, just something fun we like to keep down here. Uh, we have a couple cans of these, actually, I think four or five down here. This is one of our favorite family snacks, uh, is to do like nachos, or we even do it for dinner sometimes, or lunch on a weekend. So we keep those down here just a couple things of cream of chicken soup I go through a ton of this in the fall and in the during the holidays for casseroles and different crock pot meals so I think this is just what I happen to have left uh, a handful of cans so pretty quick here I'm gonna buy like probably two flats of cream of chicken and two flats of cream of mushroom from Aldi and that will last me the rest of the winter hopefully a thing of evaporated milk. I'm pretty sure I bought this for a recipe and never used it. But it just gives you an idea of what we keep down here. I like to keep salsa down here. This is something that is going to be up on the shelf here really quick once tomatoes come in from the garden. Lots of salsa, lots of pizza sauce coming in. Yeast, always got to keep lots of yeast down here because we make like everything from scratch. Our pizza crusts, um, most of our breads, our rolls go through a lot of yeast. <laughs> a couple things of mayo to keep on hand. Lots of salt back here. And just a couple other spices that we go through a lot. Garlic salt, garlic powder, and a thing of cinnamon as well. We go through so many spices. So we keep so much stock on hand because we do raise chickens. I want to be able to make my own chicken stock from them and get comfortable with a pressure canner and be able to can it and get it up. But lots of chicken broth uh, in lots of different forms. I also have not just chicken, but I keep beef down here. I also keep vegetable down here for different things. We like to keep different things of um, drinkables down here, and we like this peach tea. Uh, always keep Pedialyte. We actually had more down here, but we just were sick and went through a couple things of Pedialyte. Of course, lots of like chocolate syrup, and I have a thing of caramel upstairs in my working pantry. We go through those. We just like to keep them down here for fun treats. A couple things of jams. These are like a mixed berry jam, and then this is an apple butter. I have one thing of relish left, and honestly, this will last forever. It was canned in 2020. We still have the one that we opened from 2020 in our fridge. It's only like half gone. We don't go through it that fast. Uh, lots of homemade canned pickles here. A uh, thing of red cabbage, basically like a sauerkraut. My husband likes to keep canned meat down here of different varieties. We have a couple upstairs in the working pantry too. But he's got some ham spread, um, some calamari, a whole flat of mushrooms. We got these from Sam's Club. They were a pretty good price. We go through these pretty um, pretty decently, mostly in spaghetti and pizzas and stuff that we make. These are tomatoes, onions, and peppers that I canned. They're awesome for a base for chili or stuffed peppers or anything like that. That's what I've been using these for. I've loved having those on hand. 
a couple things of salmon back there usually we have tuna too but we've been flying through tuna recently just with different things we always keep extra honey on hand because this is what I use in breads and uh, different things like that a thing of dressing I bought this for a recipe and we haven't used it yet I bought this jambalaya mix when it was on sale I'm working on pasta this month to get down here so just a couple things of pasta we've got some mac and cheese back there these are the egg noodles that we like to use in soups however I got a pasta maker for Christmas last year I haven't used it yet because we didn't have enough eggs for me to be able to preserve to make pasta but now we do we're getting about 17 eggs a day which is awesome which means one day coming up here I'm gonna make some egg noodles and lay them out to dry and then we'll have a ton of egg noodles or basically whatever I want to use we can do pasta um, we can do spaghetti linguine my pasta maker has like a ton of different cut cutouts for shapes I'm really excited about that that's gonna be coming up eventually <laughs> big old thing of Crisco for pie crust you know that's important just more condiments we always keep popcorn on hand this is butter and then we have kettle corn back there a thing of this basically maple butter got some honey mustard a couple things of just like store-bought sauces just for something really easy I got two things of garlic from Sam's Club because I know we're gonna be using this for canning just a ton in pickles and different things lots of soup I love this tomato basil it's my favorite my husband loves bean and bacon we like to keep just like pre-made broth in the house for when we're sick too so we have a can there some tomatoes and peppers just like cans of Rotel and some enchilada sauce those are something that we're hoping to make ourselves this year as well these are actually dandelion jams that me and the kids made earlier this year that was just a fun project lots of olive oils and things all the way up top up there I like to keep an extra thing of oats for baking that's pretty much the only thing we use it for to be honest big thing of pancake mix I always keep cupcake liners and coffee filters on hand for just things and then this is the soda that my husband has been drinking recently so we have an extra pack up here for him because we have to drive like over an hour away to get this so we always buy a couple at a time and he has them for when he wants them over here I also try to keep household products stocked so this is just another box of that soda for my husband we have to keep Ziploc bags on hand at all times so I've got sandwiches here I'm down to one thing of gallons so I'm gonna have to get another one of those an extra parchment paper this huge thing of uh, baking soda I use baking soda to clean a lot and so I got this big bag from Sam's Club same with just some extra dishwasher tabs things that we go through really quickly and then down here I also keep more canning jars of various sizes we've got lids here um, I bring this bucket up with me in the kitchen and put extra lids and rings and stuff in here just easy to have a couple trash bags in here tons and tons and tons of egg cartons uh, and then I have even more than this they're just shoved back there and then all the way back here I have a ton of canning supplies so like um, just vinegars of all different sorts and basically just extra canning supplies uh, like strainers and ladles pretty much anything that I need so if I'm doing any sort of canning project I can just grab that basket and carry it upstairs and it has absolutely everything in it that I'm going to need but the rest of this is basically just rings and like uh, stuff to make jams and different things just a bunch of canning supplies is basically what's down here and then household items that we keep so we don't have to run to the store just for like a thing something super simple so let's start with the freezers shall we we have three chest freezers down here small medium and the large which is located behind me we have we got these over time this small one we bought when we were at Fort Drum and we actually got a huge discount on it because it was dented all over it was a display model they gave us a huge bargain on it this medium-sized one my father-in-law actually picked up on the side of the road for us it had a sign on it that says works great is really dirty and it was really dirty I cleaned it out and it works great and here's our big one we recently got this one like less than a year ago this holds basically meat this was supposed to be the meat freezer and we've learned very quickly as our family grows as inflation continues to go up we have just been buying more and more at a time so there is we bought 300 pounds of ground beef so this whole freezer pretty much from top to bottom was filled with beef minus this couple things that are up here 
flour tortillas. Those freeze awesome of all shapes and sizes. We've got different varieties of chicken thighs. We've got brats. I've got a thing of chicken tenders. And I've got a flank steak. That's literally everything in this freezer. It is just mostly ground beef that we just bought. And this should last our family beef-wise well over a year. Now we're moving on to our super small freezer. This was originally our game freezer for when my husband and our kids hunt. But we really had to rotate some things. So, green beans from the garden. Uh, lots of more happening this year. This is just like the first batch of green beans. I have another huge batch that I need to do. Thing of raviolis from Sam's Club. And then the rest of this is different cuts and different styles of meat. I have a turkey down here that I bought that was on sale during the holidays. Lots of pig cuts here. We bought half a pig last year and this is what's left. We have a couple things of breakfast sausage left. Um, mostly just like pork bones and pork steaks is what we have left. I also bought a thing of chicken quarters when we couldn't find chicken anywhere earlier this year. Uh, and that was pretty much the only thing I could get. So I've got chicken quarters in there which is awesome. Lots of great meals and bone broth that can come off of that. But that is literally the rest of this is all pork. And then at the very bottom, we have venison cuts and like venison sausage and stuff. We might also have a couple rolls of bear meat left all the way at the bottom of this thing. Uh, we like bear meat for pasties and it makes awesome meatloaf. Some people get really freaked out when I mention any sort of game meat at all. But there's something about the bear meat. Every time I mention it, I'll get comments and people are really turned off by it. If it's not for you, that's totally okay. But we really like it we really enjoy it and it really does make the best meatloaf we've ever ate we like to mix it with uh, some other sort of anything when we're doing pasties we like to mix it with pork we're doing meatloaf so we like to mix it with beef so but it's really good this is our medium-sized freezer this is the base this is the freezer we eat out of month to month so when you guys see my grocery hauls this is the freezer that everything gets dumped into just to keep it really easy we have a couple things of cauliflower rice that my husband picked up from Sam's Club. We've got mahi mahi. That's my husband's favorite um, cut of fish. We have a couple of these rice cauliflowers. I picked up two things of green beans, which was probably a mistake because I didn't realize how well my green beans were going to do in the garden. So we're going to have a ton of green beans in here, which is fine. We'll definitely have a year's worth, and that's good. But I got two of these plus everything that I'm going to preserve and put in here. I did buy some salmon fillets from Sam's Club. You're going to see lots more tortillas, a lot of frozen berries, and frozen cheese. Because we grocery shop once a month, our fresh stuff goes really fast. And then for the last like two weeks of the month, we rely really heavily on frozen fruits. So we have lots of those in here, lots of blueberries. I'm pretty sure we have blueberries and then tropical mix is the only things we have left. I also keep lunch meat in here, different cuts of lunch meat, uh, lots of different cheeses. This is basically just everything we eat for a month. I expect at the end of the month this freezer to be almost empty unless I overbought, which does happen, or uh, things happen like we get sick and we just didn't really eat like off of my meal plan whole chickens in here, different things of vegetables, like mixed vegetables, and things that I find when they're like randomly a good deal. But that's pretty much this freezer. In that freezer that I just opened, that's also where I keep extra cream cheese, extra butter, a ton of dairy. What my freezers are, are my big one is all meat. My medium one is more meat. And then this medium sized freezer holds our monthly grocery hauls. And now that you know where the overflow goes, I want to bring you guys upstairs and show you guys my fridge, my working pantry, and my freezer, like, attached to my fridge. Since we just talked about my freezers downstairs, I reserve this freezer for things like ice cream and special treats. And then once anything is opened, it goes in this freezer. That way, no matter what I'm looking for, if it's not in this freezer, then it's not open once it's open it will not go back downstairs so i have things like broccoli blueberries salmon patties uh beef patties we have chicken up here um a loaf of raisin bread we've got some potatoes up here i just opened this morning corn so basically what this is is if it is not in here it's not open and you 
have fair game to go downstairs in the freezers and open up something new. So if I'm cooking dinner, I'm coming in here and I'm looking for broccoli, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna see that we have it, I'm gonna pull it out and use this broccoli. On the flip side, if I'm cooking and I'm looking for peas and I come in here and I search and I don't find peas, that means I have to go downstairs in the chest freezers and dig out a thing of peas. Also, if things are getting really jam-packed like they are right now, I know that when I meal plan for next month, which is up in a couple days, I'm going to try to use up some of these things. So I'm going to try to plan meals that I'm going to use broccoli in, or maybe I'm just going to plan for these salmon patties. Uh, we're going to eat these up just to get them out of the fridge. Might make some blueberry muffins for breakfast or something, just to get these blueberries out of here. Just planning really basic things, but yeah, that's pretty much what this is, is just, if I'm looking for anything, I gotta look here first. Here is my working pantry. So, this used to be a coat closet. My garage door's over here. My kitchen is right here. Happens to be right in the middle. When I go grocery shopping, I will put everything in this pantry that I plan on using in the next two weeks. Everything else goes downstairs on that storage shelf because I simply do not have room in here. I just don't. This is what it looks like at the end of the month. I try to keep things as organized as possible in here because when things get out of control, things like this happen where we have two things of taco shells opened or like two things of instant mashed potatoes that we never buy. These have been up here forever, but, or things like this. You have a bunch of different things of pasta open. It happens sometimes, I'm a real person. But this is basically the overall layout of things. So all the way up top is where we keep all of our baking. Like I said, we use, every, we make pretty much everything from scratch. So pretty much everything you would ever need to make anything, we keep on hand up here. This is where I keep those instant seasoning packets for different things. We have like fried rice, meatloaf seasonings, um, chili seasonings. We also keep these little tuna sides in here. Me and my husband both really love these. Like I said, we like our popcorn. So we have kettle corn and butter popcorn up here. Of course, peanut butter. My husband and my son love to snack on nuts. So we've got lots of different nuts up here. Tons and tons of oatmeal. This is mostly our grains and then kids snacks go on the bottom there. And then that's pretty much what my working pantry. So I did not clean down here before filming this video. So this is just really what it looks like. Like I said, I did order um, bins for my sugar and my flour. So don't yell at me, they're coming. They're just not here yet. Down here in this corner, I like to keep an extra of everything that I have down on my storage shelf up here because it is a pain in the butt to run downstairs in the middle of cooking and grab one can of whatever. So I like to keep just a can of everything that we use often up here. So I have things like tomato paste, uh, you know, an extra thing of honey here, got some canned salmon, like I had those downstairs, same with this pizza sauce, I had those downstairs. Just, you know, help keep my life a little bit easier. We bought these Nesquik um, milk things a couple months ago and these are gonna be returning, you know, oil. This is also where um, I keep my onions and my potatoes and different things like that. But that's basically what my working pantry looks like. So you can see what we keep downstairs versus what we keep up here. I really wanted to show you guys this in that order because I think that that's what is going to make the most sense for you guys and how you guys know how I grocery shop. So you guys know that I come home from groceries and I often talk about in my behind the scenes of my grocery shopping videos how things are going downstairs versus my working pantry. And now you guys can kind of see how I do it with either like limited space. This might be a lot more than some people have and trust me, this is a lot more than I have ever had. When we bought this house and my husband told me he was gonna put shelves in here, I was elated. I thought, there's no way I'm ever gonna fill that in. Then we had more kids and then we filled it. If you've ever wondered what my fridge looks like at the end of the month, here it is. This is it. This is what we have left for the end of the month. I just went down in the chest freezers this morning and pulled out some stuff to get us through the next couple of days. But we've got kiwis left, some yogurt, um, lots of pickled eggs back there. I love those right now. Uh, syrup. Tomato juice, I go through a lot of that. Uh, I pulled out this cheese because I'm gonna shred it. We're doing calzones tonight. Hard boiled eggs that uh, I just haven't had time to peel yet. These are leftovers from breakfast. This is basically just a uh, burrito filling with like leftover peppers and onions from dinner last night. And then the door is just condiments, milk, lots of empty shelves. And then in here, um, I have sausages, pepperonis, 
uh, radishes from the garden, bell peppers from the garden, some lettuce from the garden, and block of cheese. We have carrots and broccoli left that we bought way back at the beginning of the month and they still look fabulous. And then way on the bottom here, this is our kids' snack drawer. I have a zucchini from the garden that's looking really sad. I've got to use it up, but we have a couple oranges and a couple apples left. Uh, applesauce, keep my yeast in the fridge. The rest is just basically pickles, different condiments. Uh, caramel dip for the apples, Philadelphia cream cheese, a little bit of butter. Just working with what you have getting things slowly we accumulated all three of those chest freezers over a course of like five years so it doesn't happen all at once for bargains look for deals get creative uh on shoving your food in and just find systems that work for you but those are kind of my tips my tricks and how i store food all of those things for an entire month at a time and then also long-term storage I hope that this answered some of your questions and just gave you guys a little bit of behind the scenes. This is probably my most highly requested video that I've had uh, recently, so I was excited to film it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and taking a little bit of time out of your day to hang out with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.